Okay, I have two OBS instances running this time so that I can have a, a video on me. <laughs> I'm much closer than usual because I'm in the uh, hopefully position I can maintain for an hour typing. So um, let me get to it. Home noises. I have chosen the wrong put, um, posture. I will need a comma there. Um, yeah, too late to adjust my posture.
Let's see, is it really too late? Um, maybe. So the reason I say it's too late is I don't want to move the computer and change the camera angle. Uh, let me try this. There are other phrases too. Fiat looks. Gotta scratch my nose. Such a long phrase. Speed go down. I think I see a downward slope here, which is a little bit concerning. Downward slope over my last few months. We'll see. I want the title to show, that's why. <sighs> Again, home noises. Actually, I'm not quite sure if uh, um, on my audio there's a light. Uh, noise filtering. And I don't know if uh, that night light noise filtering was uh, filtering out the laughter from the outside. But anyways, home noises. By the way, that's why I shouldn't talk while I type because splitting attention like that slows me down. Although, you know, I can, obviously. It's a uh, different part of the brain. In fact, the typing part doesn't really think There's a study on that. Uh, when you are studying, listening to a lecture, just typing every word actually doesn't help you learn because you're not doing true processing and trying to understand what is being said. You're just writing down what, it's, what is being said and that's not what you should be doing when you're studying. It means I should really stop speaking because it is really slowing me down. 
I mean, usually, yeah, yeah, anyways, just type. many apostrophes. Battlefield Medicine. train was bad.
Yeah, much slower though. It might be a matter of my position. So the laptop is on my desk, which is not the best uh, one ergonomic, and I think it's speed position. I can move it up. Too late. I made the choice before I committed to these two hours. I mean, one hour. Oh, I typed this before and I said that oh, wait is this what I typed it before if it is I said that some technology just to have uh, better uses that there It might be coming from the same, you know, I don't know, I, I don't, maybe I didn't type this one, yeah. Good to know when he wrote that or said that. noises and me not muting my phone <sighs> I'm gonna rate this down because yeah, you can see why. It's unnecessarily long. Um, it really slows you down. Like if I had to type to these quotes individually, I'm pretty sure individually they would be averaged at like 100 or something. But all typed together like that, it just, you can see it here. The length is what slows me down. So, and that last edition is unnecessary. And those quotation marks slow you down. Anyways, so. 
it should be lower. It should be, I don't know, one out of five or much lower stars. <clears throat> I mean, individual quotes are fine. It's the act of putting them together that makes it bad. <laughs> Is it this about a gladiator? <clears throat> Half plus seven. So, you know, that's the rule. And actually, I uh, that's the same rule Malcolm X used. If you read his autobiography, he either mentions that executive figure or uh, makes a reference that's something close to that. kind of ruined it at the end but that was a really nice um, passage because short easy words um. oh yeah, yeah you know I don't normally rate so I don't know what the typical rating range is that was a nice phrase I liked it um, not at the end of his life he became American he became naturalized as an American citizen. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty I should have looked it up. I think he became naturalized. I'm gonna assume it uh, from a science fiction because it's so ignorant about physics and science in general. Uh, let's see here. This is probably, uh, let me do three more phrases and I'll switch.
I never watched the show or the movie, whatever it is. One more. So the switch is I'm gonna switch to uh, uh, Corey, and we'll see. <laughs> I thought it'd be a good opportunity to see how that affects my, um, you know. So you'll see my speed right after I switch, and then I'm gonna try to go for another 15, 30 minutes. We'll see. And I think I want to switch back. 15, 20 minutes, so maybe we'll see. on the accuracy not speed So the uh, secret to speed is that you can't really be thinking about what you're typing. So yeah, that really goes against the layout switching. So now focus on accuracy and try for another 15, 20 minutes. It's been since I typed the query. I normally only type it on, on other people's computer, and I guess it's been a while. COVID nineteen. This is why I want you to give myself some adjustment time. So we'll see. Oh. 
I'm not a beautiful rose. Little song. It says a verse, so I guess it must be. Uh, yeah, sixty. Not that bad. Just terrible accuracy. Very painful. I mean, typing in query, not you know, whatever this passage is about. <laughs> yeah, that that is where um, hyphen is on Dvorak uh, layout, which is you know far more reasonable than where it is on query. Apparently, lack of Oxford comma. Uh. <sighs> yeah, still got time to go.
oh wow, that was faster than I thought he felt like. Oh. Yeah, in fact, until I really fell off the cliff, it was... Well, I think I got another 10 minutes, yeah, at least. Um, maybe I'm beginning to see a little bit of an improvement. So it, this is never going to be as fast as my Devrock speed is, but... And I don't remember when my quarter speed was before I switched to Devrock, so... <sighs> you know, it is painful. Right, that felt better than most other. Um, yeah, so when I'm typing query, I still don't think about individually where each letter is. It's more high level than that. I'm just thinking this is the layout I'm typing, and my fingers know where to go. Word, right? Not necessarily. There's also the beaver, or you know, seems looks. And Look at the keyboard. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't need to. Adverbs can also describe um, adjectives. I haven't read the novel, so I don't know what context that this is in. But I do think a precocious people come into two varieties. Um, both of which are, I think, annoying. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I'm getting older, so I don't want to be <laughs> dismissive of age. But, you know, the things I know now, in my ripe old age, I knew much of it 10 years ago.
should just stop talking. Typing quality is uh, really mentally draining because it's like, well, it's like walking in deep water. It's an activity that you normally do without any much thought, without any resistance, typing, and that uh, um, <laughs> you change enough things. It, it takes a lot of thought, a lot of effort, and stressful yeah, so i don't think i'm seeing any improvement and i'm pretty sure in the next uh, seven minutes i won't see any improvement but i'll continue typing and then i'll switch over We give them window into what we hope the world looks like. <laughs> I don't know. Just being contrarian for no reason. exercise of my creativity <laughs> I don't know Which name? My grandfather's? is a very anti-immigrant speech. I mean, <laughs> my grandfathers as a people who lived in um, colonized Korea, you know, 70, 80 years ago. <laughs> sure, I can criticize them, but that has basically zero relevance in the immigrant community. That's what I mean by anti-immigrant does not consider perspective beyond his own, which is that he is resident of a country where he's been there for many generations, or at least he can identify with the culture that, you know, you know, he might be a European immigrant. I mean, and, you know, all these quotes are taken out of context, so maybe I, whoever that guy was, if I actually read it, I will find much in agreement. But, 
I don't think that's what karma means. You know, I've deliberately not read anything written by George R. R. Martin. Nothing against him, I just didn't like people talking about uh, Game of Thrones or the Song of Ice and Fire or whatever. So I've deliberately avoided reading anything about them. So I don't know what this quote means and I refuse to understand what the quote means. All right, maybe two more, and then I'll switch. Oh, that's a TV show, I think. I haven't seen it. Not deliberately, just haven't seen it. the left-handed type. That's why quadri sucks. switch. That was a, such a stressful stretch. I don't think I ever want to do this again. Ow. I, I mean, you know, typing in query for 20 minutes for no reason. Yes, it is. And QWERTY is a hell. <laughs> All right. Uh, somehow my uh, the work speed is actually better right after switching back. Maybe it's a speed of joy.
Um, maybe this is the reason to type in query. Uh, when I switch back, I get faster in Dora. That aren't humans. A movie that doesn't exist. better as a run. Is it? I have no idea what that context is in. Okay, five minutes. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. to stop talking. Oh, I think I read this one, or at least to listen to the audiobook. She was too judgmental, right? I think that was the whole point of it. Was she British? Oh, no, I guess, yeah, yeah, yes, sure, it's British. Yeah. 
this is movie, right? Oh, oh yeah. I think I have actually seen this one. I don't know what the point of that is. I think I want to set up next time with a recording of my keyboard so that um, you know, because my face doesn't matter, the finger movements matter. thing is um it's in my office and i don't know if uh, while i'm at the office i would have one hour to waste like this When I was in high school, I used to have um, Raven. I think that's what it was um, by Edgar Allan Poe. I, I used to have it memorized, and I'm pretty sure I've forgotten it all. Um, I do have some things that I still have memorized from my younger years. You know, I haven't tested it in a while. I think most of those things are in Korean. Anyway, so what I have remembered right now, the two things that I um, just have uh, committed to memory solidly enough that I don't have to... Let me finish this first. <laughs> uh, yeah. Stop that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, two things I have memorized solidly enough in my uh, memory that I don't have to constantly worry about it. One is um, uh, one that, <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to uh, say the beginning phrases of it. Um, I'm Some of which I may be mispronouncing. Um, uh, Pater Heimon Hoen Tois Uranois. Hagias de Toto Nomaso, Onomasu, Alpha Tohe Basileasu, and then goes on for a little longer. And the other one, which is more popularly known, uh, goes as Osu Yusti. I'm, uh, it's actually a song, so I'm taking out the melody just to sing the words. Osu Yusti, Meditabitur, Sapientam, um, Sapientam et lingua eius uh, loquitur judicium, um, and so on. Um, by the way, the popular version probably has indicium instead of judicium. It's because it was written by someone who does know Latin. I have corrected it in the version I memorized it so that I say judicium, not indicium. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's probably enough. Um, so. I have no idea why I'm doing this. Uh, just 
one year to do it. So uh, let me stop the recording here. This time I think I'm editing some things together. I want to see where my face video can go. And um, yeah, I'll just uh, stop it there. I don't know which of these is which. I'm just going to stop in random order. Yeah.